Hey, what are you doing in there? Come on, I got stuff to talk about. Almost forgot that. But there's three things that you definitely need after you start skateboarding, and let's just get into it. I'm going to talk about it. Number one on this list is wax. So if <clears throat> you're out street skating or you're skating a park and it just rained and rained all the wax away, you and it's everything super sticky, you're pretty much screwed if you're doing any sort of grind at all, unless you have wax. Even if it's not super sticky, more wax is always better because, you know, you can always just adjust instead of having to go faster and get stuck on certain parts of the ledge. So, it's always good to have this on hand. If you're a beginner skateboarder and don't know how to use wax or anything, or didn't even know wax was a thing, now you do. You can pretty much just go to any skate shop, uh, Zoomies even, uh, look it up online, any online skate shop, and you can get a you know thing of wax like about that big for a few bucks. Um, pretty inexpensive and very, very, very useful. A skate tool, preferably the uh, silver T-tool. It has a ratchet. It has both the things you need for the lugs on the or the nuts on the on the wheels, and the nut right here, and then the nut right here. So it has all three of those. And then it has a screwdriver for when you're taking the bolts off and everything. And then even when you're setting up a new skateboard, it has a little filer right here, so you can file down the grip tape. So specific, and I've had this tool for years since I started skateboarding, and it's lasted me this long. Uh, the file's gone down a little bit, but like, it's been years. And if you're a new skateboarder and you just bought your first complete, you likely did not have to set it up at all, because you can just purchase them all put together. But as you start skateboarding more, you're gonna be taking your parts on and off on your own. So you're gonna need one of these. And these are really cheap, there's like 20 bucks. And you just you know, put it in your little skate bag and then you're good to go. Third and final thing on my list, headphones. Preferably wireless earbuds. I prefer the Apple AirPod Pros because they stick in my ear, they have good battery life, and they just feel good. You can go do your own research. Um, there's a bunch of different types of wireless earbuds out there. You don't have to get the wireless kind. Decide whichever one you want. I've seen people with the big headphones skating. I don't know how they do that because it's very, uh, they just fall off all the time. But you can do that if you wanted to. But yeah, earbuds, they, they vary. You can get some really cheap ones that are kind of trashy, but they'll get the job done. Or you could go and get some expensive ones and they'll last forever. There's a lot of them out there. You can go find some. Thanks for watching. Click on this video right here for the next one. And I'll see you in that video.